But on this video we're going to do a uh, demonstration circuit of a capacitor that is going to smooth a uh, voltage and uh, so it's really only going to smooth it though for the uh, reduction in voltage it's going to slow down how fast the voltage drops when we release the switch and if we just uh, briefly release and then repress the uh, switch the capacitor will hold the voltage pretty steadily across the load right there that's what a smoothing capacitor is commonly used for this is a demonstration uh, version though just to uh, show the uh, basic principle in a more obvious way so in any case we have here a uh, switch in series with a resistor to protect an LED I'm going to use 7 volts we'll look at that later so here you can see I have the uh, switch the orange jumper there going to the uh, red rail positive rail and then the bottom of the switch comes to a resistor there and then an LED of course LEDs have to be connected in the right way long lead the anode towards more positive short lead the cathode towards more negative for it to light up and uh, there you can see it lit up turned on instantly turned off instantly so we're going to uh, take the capacitor here I'm going to use an electrolytic one this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor it can be charged up to about 35 volts too and so this is a large value capacitor for basic electronics so there's also super capacitors you won't want to use one of them in uh, this circuit unless they limit current so I do have super capacitors that do but a lot of them don't limit current and uh, you'd have high current so you gotta be careful but uh, in any case there we go we got the capacitor so now we're going to grab the power supply and look at something uh, really quick. So the capacitor is parallel to the load. We'll look at that coming up. I have it set to 7 volts as I said before. Now usually I limit current to a 20 milliamps to help protect the LED. You can see we got constant voltage there. That has the current limited uh, too much. I think you could probably notice that we have a, a slight increase in uh, brightness uh, pretty quickly at the beginning where it doesn't instantly turn on anymore another thing you'll notice so right now we have constant voltage the power supply is holding uh, 7 volts pretty nicely briefly it said CC for constant current we had that limit of uh, 20 milliamps that uh, we met so for this video we have to increase the uh, current because it takes a short burst of current to get the capacitor to charge suddenly. So now I got the oscilloscope out and we will take uh, the black alligator clip comes from that cable there, clip to this jumper, go to the negative rail. That goes to the negative side of the capacitor and of the load. That little gray jumper is going to the negative rail. Now we're gonna go to the other side right there to the capacitor. So as you can see there's already some voltage that's because the capacitor cannot discharge through the LED anymore it takes a little more than about a volt and a half for the LED to start conducting if I hit the button though you can see that it's really quite not instant because there's a tiny bit of resistance slowing down how fast the capacitor charges but for the most part it was uh, pretty instant and uh, main thing is though if I let go there you can see that it takes time for the voltage to drop right there and uh, whereas without a capacitor of course the voltage change is sudden so it is smoothing it down especially when it comes to the uh, discharge we're not getting or a sudden drop in voltage we're not getting a sudden drop of voltage it's taking time so of course how much capacitance you need will depend on the uh, load you know how much current you're going to need over a given period of time and for how long you can expect little spikes like this so usually they're extremely short and a 1000 microfarad capacitor uh, would probably meet your needs most of the time if not a smaller one now of course there you can see that uh, with the uh, red LED it stops discharging because it can't discharge through the LED there's no current flow or anything and uh, 
if we grab a green LED, make sure we put it in the right way, of course. Long lead the anode more positive, short lead the cathode more negative. It works the same, but the uh, capacitor's not going to discharge as much as it did with the red LED. There you can see it's leveling off about uh, 2 volts. That's about where it's going to stop uh, finally. A little current is still trickling through. So, in any case, pretty straightforward. That's why you see a lot of capacitors. They're just holding the voltage at a certain spot uh, a lot of times. And so they're smoothing capacitors, keeping the voltage as smooth as possible. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out uh, one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, and the bell. That would help out a ton. Uh, check out the links in the description. Donate to Patreon if you can. That would help out the most. I will see you in the next video.